View, where we center our news around you. In this week's episode of The View, we have announcements, video segments, sports, and a look at what's happening in our Bear Nation today. The View starts now. What's up, Bears? It's Friday, November 19th, and Thanksgiving break starts tomorrow. I'm Rand, and I'll be hosting The View today. Let's start off with today's SAT word of the week, which is moat, meaning a tiny piece of substance. Want to know in a foreign language? In Arabic, that would be nudra. Last week, we showed you Nadia Lewis's video for Buckle Up Georgia. Here's the QR code to vote for it. Now let's go to Yamari for our weekly announcements. What's up, Bear Nation? I'm Yamari, and I'll be bringing you the announcements today. Hey Bears, do you like to sing, rap, or make music? Then Music Tech Class is for you. If you're interested, go ahead and sign up during registration in January. Let's wish a few of our Bears a happy birthday. Happy birthday to Vernon Wright, Vincent Tran, Holly Blyken, Casey Emanuel, Kevin Schneider, and William Shirley. Lastly, a happy belated birthday shout out to Hunter Cooper. Now, let's jump into today's announcements. Seniors and those who are interested in hearing more about Georgia State University, Georgia State will be visiting our school on Tuesday, November 30th at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the Media Center. Please note that registration is required and you can visit the DEN calendar, calendar to do so. Listen up, seniors. Today, a sweet treat is prepared for those who have paid their dues. Also, if you didn't receive your senior mask and would like to have one, make sure to stop by Mr. Owen's room. For those who would like to participate in this year's media festival, here are the categories. Web design, live action, sequential stills, interactive stills, animation, and podcast. This is a reminder that submissions will be accepted December 6, 2021 through February 4, 2022. Please see Ms. Booker's room 1.340 BBJ for more information on how to enter the media festival. Now for this week's joke. What kind of car does an egg drive? A yolks wagon. Well, Bears, that wraps up the announcements. That wraps up the announcements. Remember to be engaged, respectful, and accountable. Thanks, Yomari, for the announcements and the joke of the week. Now let's go to, Ma to Marielle for the weather forecast. Happy Friday, Bears. I'm Marielle, and I'll be bringing you our weekend weather. Today's high will be 62 with sunny skies and a low of 37 tonight. Tomorrow will be 56 and partly cloudy which will drop to 35 at night. And Sunday's weather will be cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 39. That's all from me for the weather this week. Stay warm and have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday to those who celebrate. Now back to Rand. Now let's go to Matthew for the sports update. Thank you, Rand. Welcome back to this week's sports. I'm Matthew and I will be bringing you the schedule, scores, and updates for our fall and winter sports. In flag football news, we won both of our games. Mountain View's girls flag football will be playing in the playoffs as the third seed for our region. Mountain View doesn't know yet who, are, who we're playing as other regions are still playing and fighting for playoff spots. But Mountain View fl flag football girls are in. Congratulations to the athletes representing our school in flag football. In basketball, we won against Central Gwinnett, putting our score at 2-0. Our next game is on December 3rd against Archer. We had a swim meet last Saturday against Central Gwinnett and Archer. Nice job, Bears. 
The next swim meet is tomorrow at Mountain Park Aquatic Center against Lanier and Buford. Well Bears, that concludes our sport sports updates for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Now, let's go back to Rand. Go Bears! Thanks for the sports update, Matthew. Teachers and students, please be sure to support your student athletes throughout the year. We have some great athletic programs at Mountain View. Hey Bears, it's Matthew again. We're about to wrap up with the news, but before we go, we have some student short films to feature, including interviews and even a zombie movie. Stay tuned. So, what do you love most about the French culture and language? I love how the people interact with each other. Um, I would probably say the fashion. Probably the food. The food? Yeah. Okay. I would say... Not only is it a very complex language, which is something that attracted me to it. If you could travel to any French-speaking country, which country would you go and why? Uh, Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. Probably Canada because I love the cold. I mean, obviously, you're traveling to France seems like the best idea, but other like island countries that, um, such as like Haiti and all them, who speak French, I'd like to visit there. I'd go to Haiti. Well, <laughs> I would. France. What is your favorite thing about being in French class? Um, just getting to learn different cultures and languages, and that, that's like my favorite thing to do. All the activities that we do, they're very interactive. Uh, I just like learning the language. Um, Miss Alexander is a really good teacher, and all the people in there are really nice. Uh, could you teach me how to say hello? My name is in French. Um, so hello is bonjour in the morning, and then like in the evening. And then my name is Je m'appelle, and then you're going to say the regular name. So, fully would be Bonjour, Je m'appelle Anaya. Yeah. Bonjour, Je m'appelle Samantha. Bonjour, Je m'appelle Mathieu. Bonjour, Je m'appelle Jonathan Eden. And are there going to be any traveling opportunities in the future? Yes, in 2023. We're all going to go to Paris next year if you like. Gotta hand your passport and we gotta set your bag up here. And where are you gonna get your bag again? In Paris, France. Yeah. Eddie. Here we go. Hi. 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 All I can think about is the songs, they get Eiffel Tower. I'm in France for the first time. We're gonna go get our passport stamped. Empty passports. Yeah, this is very big. Thing. Next. Here we go. Bye, everyone. Look at my yes, favorite, yes, my yes. first one. We're world travelers, <laughs> officially. So we're looking for Nicholas, our tour director. Hello, everyone. Bonjour. Got some keys for you so you can access the room. Oh, this is our room. <gasps> oh, oh, my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> it's like the best view oh my gosh. I've ever seen. Oh. Welcome to the highlight of Paris, the symbol of France, <laughs> built in 1889 for the World Fair. We're almost there. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, we're at the top! We're at the very, very, very <laughs> I can't talk to you right now because I'm so overwhelmed. Never in a million years would I expect to be on the top of the Eiffel Tower looking down. To stand at the top of one of the most iconic structures in the whole world is pretty amazing. We're in the streets of Mountain View asking people about Thanksgiving. Let's go. What are you looking forward to this Thanksgiving? Food. Thank you. Okay, go. Um. Yes, no, come here, come here, come here. Okay, what are you looking forward to this Thanksgiving? I don't celebrate it. Okay, what do you do instead? I sleep. All right, thank you. <laughs> what do you do with this Thanksgiving? <laughs> what are you doing this Thanksgiving? <laughs> Celebrating? Celebrating? What do you eat? Turkey? Anything else? No, stuffing. Okay. Okay. Can I ask you a question? All right, what are you looking forward to this Thanksgiving? <coughs> um, nothing. Nothing? I mean food. 
Yeah. Do you have any tra traditions? No. Nothing? No. Okay. Thank you. What are you looking forward to this Thanksgiving? Eating. Do you have any traditions? No, no traditions. No. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? What are you looking forward to this Thanksgiving? Uh, food. <laughs> Do you have any traditions? Um, just hanging out with family. That's really it. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you a question? Please. I'll give you candy. I'll give you candy. I'll give you candy. Oh, okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? For what? For the news. Is it going to be posted? What's the question? Uh, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? My Thanksgiving traditions is making a turkey and eating a lot of food. With my Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. All right, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? My Thanksgiving traditions? Um, just, I'm just Thanksgiving with friends and family and eating. That's about it. Do you have a favorite meal? No, nah, I mean, nothing crazy. Okay, thank you. Can I ask you a question? Okay, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? What? What are your Thanksgiving traditions? Um, I usually, like, go, <laughs> I usually go to my family's house, like, my, uh, my uncle's house, and we eat, like. Do you have a favorite meal? Um, <laughs> um, not necessarily. I mean, okay, thank you. Okay, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? Um, I always go to my grandparents' house and we make turkey and eat a whole bunch of yummy food and we make, <laughs> yeah, we make like the handheld stuff, you know, with the hand thing. Yeah. Thank you. All right, what are your favorite Thanksgiving traditions? Uh, definitely the turkey and definitely pork. Uh, putting gravy on the uh, on the potatoes. I love that. Mac and cheese. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite meals. Uh, being with my family, definitely love that. I, I have a whole bunch of family coming over this Thanksgiving, so it's definitely one. All right, thank you. What are your favorite Thanksgiving traditions? What? What are your favorite Thanksgiving traditions? Traditions? Traditions, like what do you do every year? Do you like Oh, we dress up. We wear pajamas on Christmas Day. No, for Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving. I don't, we eat, I don't know. You don't have a favorite meal? Nothing that like your I can't eat, I'm a wrestler. You can, okay, so you don't do anything fun? We eat, that's it. That's it, you don't play board games, nothing? No, okay, thank you. Okay. All right, okay, okay. All right, here, and then we're going. Okay, uh, what's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? I guess turkey. It has, it has to be turkey, right? No, that is right. That is the right answer. Okay, do you have a favorite tradition? Res going to wrestling tournaments on Thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, that was it. Thanks so much for who participated. See you after Thanksgiving break. Hello, my name is Sabrina, and we're gonna go ask questions to people in the cafeteria. There we go. Okay, state your name. Um, Thomas. Thomas, what's better, Thanksgiving or Black Friday? Um, Black Friday. Why? Because you get to spend more money, that's why. <laughs> Amazing, thank you. Isabella, Thanksgiving or Black Friday? Uh, Black Friday. Why? I guess buying stuff seems funner. Thank you. Keenan, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah. What do you do for Thanksgiving? Um, mostly just spend it with friends and family. Eat. What do you eat? Um, basically a bunch of traditional foods. Pozole, menudo, empanadas, and all different kinds of stuff. Amazing, you're great, thank you. David, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah. What do you do for Thanksgiving? Eat. <laughs> what do you eat? Turkey. Amazing, thank you. TJ, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? What did you, you say? Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah, I think I like to eat a lot on Thanksgiving. What do you eat? Um, turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. Okay. Great, thank you. Uh, hello, Misha, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I do. You do? Um, what kind of foods do you have? Do you, do you have turkey? Yes, we do. I'm sorry, that's wrong. We're going away. TJ, um, 
Are you planning to go out shopping for Black Friday this weekend? Uh, probably not. Sorry, not this weekend, next weekend. <laughs> uh, nah. What are you going to be doing for your break? Um, I don't know, probably just hang out, hang out with some friends. That's pretty much it. How's, how's performance finals going for you? Uh, yeah. yeah. You know what, me too, me too. Chelsea, um, do you celebrate Christmas? I do. You do? How early do you set up the decoration? After Thanksgiving. Me too, me too. Seems like everyone's doing it super early this year. Nicholas, what do you plan to do over break? Uh, I'm going to Ohio. You're going to Ohio? What are you going to do at Ohio? Uh, visiting family. Nice. What are you guys going to do over the break? I might head up to New York, get my hair done, or I might stay here and chill with my cousin get butterfly locks, you know? Nice. How are performance finals going for you? It's going well. It's easy so far. I'm so stressed out, like terrible, but like, I'm doing them. Honestly, me too, me too. Scarlett, Thanksgiving or Black Friday? Thanksgiving. Why? I don't know, I feel like we're just sharing with family and stuff, you know? We get to share with them and be like together and have more fun, you know? That's awesome. What do you do with your family? We go out to do activities in the park, like we do picnics, we eat together, and yeah. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> What do you do for Thanksgiving? Uh, I do a lot of stuff for Thanksgiving. You know, I visit family and eat food. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yes, ma'am. How early do you put up your Christmas decorations? Um, it's up right now, currently. Okay. Uh, I guess early. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Dejan, Thanksgiving or Black Friday? Thanksgiving. Why? get to eat all the food, like, you can eat, you know what I mean, that turkey, that fried turkey, you know what I mean, like, yeah. Do you just eat turkey or something else? Ham. Which one is better? Ham. That's correct, thank you. <laughs> Justin, Thanksgiving or Black Friday? Thanksgiving. Why? The food? What do you eat? Black Friday's not even like that anymore, it's all online now. What do you eat? What do I eat? Yeah, for Thanksgiving. Everything. Okay, and do you celebrate Christmas? Of course. How early do you put up your Christmas decorations? Um, two weeks before. Okay, thank you. Ryan, did you stay for the test? Uh, what, what test? The math test. How'd you forget about it? Ms. Johns has been really reminding us all week about it. Dude, I don't, I don't know. I told you I've been in and out of doctor's appointments. I have this horrible migraine. It's that bad. Why don't you stay home till it gets better? Well, I feel fine now. What did I miss when I was out? A lot. Don't worry. I'll give you my second for the class. Here's what we're going to over this week. What the heck is an inverse function? Um, I think you use this formula, you'll be fine. All right, clear your desk. I'll put the password on the board. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Connor, you stop playing, we're in the middle of a test. Are you okay? Connor. All right, class, 10 minutes left. Make sure you're managing your time.
Ronnie, sorry to interrupt your lunch, but do you mind doing the announcements for the news next period? Yeah. Ashley stopped responding to our messages, so we'll need someone to fill in. Yeah, I mean, if he's doing things on a Friday. Thanks, Ronnie. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, no problem. See you there. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Filming in five, four, three, two, one, action. Good morning, students. Let's give a few birthday shout outs to our teachers Evan Brown, Mike Roach, Dylan MacArthur. So make sure to stop by these teachers' classrooms and congratulate them. Cut. Guys, what's going on? Why are you leaving? <laughs> Sabrina? Dr. Matthews, this is urgent. The results just came back and it seems you're a carrier of the zombification infection. Please stay home today, this is not a drill. If you don't, it'll spread like wildfire. Please call back when you get the chance. Well, Bears, this concludes this episode of The View. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram and Twitter page at Mountain View High School TV for any updates throughout the week. Enjoy your Thanksgiving break and stay safe. See you, see you in two weeks. Take care of yourself until then, and as you go about your day, always remember, life is like a stage and someone is always watching. Stay excellent, Mountain View. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say.